Applebee's. We're uh, out at Peter Creek here. We're like an hour and a half away from my house. Uh, I'm gonna try to get on a snakehead today. Never done it before. Never seen one before. But uh, I'm gonna try. And supposedly they're in here. So uh, let's go get ready and give it a shot. All right, SOBs. We get all this thick, nasty crap. And from my understanding, this is kind of what snakeheads love is this thick, nasty crap. Huh. That was a little bit messed up there. I'm gonna have to tie on a different fry. I'm not a big fan of the one I got on. Switched up this frog that I'm using. Oh, that was a terrible cast. All right, guys, there's another angler out here. Talk to him for a minute. He's here, he's from around here, and he comes here to specifically target snakehead. So I guess I came in the right little creek. He also said that right now isn't the greatest time to catch him. It's about in about another week or two. It'll be really good, but hopefully we'll get on something here. All right, changed up to a white frog. This will uh, get anything going for us. Give a shot to the paddle tail over here. All right, starting with the uh, paddle tail over here. It's a big old turtle over there. Seeing tons of fish activity here, mostly small stuff. All right, guys, I see some stuff going on over here. I'm gonna try to cast up underneath all this crap. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Looks like it worked out okay. I'm gonna try this swim bait along this edge here. Saw a few bass hanging out along it. All right, I'm gonna try the small six cents crankbait. Dives two to five feet. It's about how deep we are here. Looks like we have some rocks I might be able to hit into. It's a lot of the bluegill color i've seen a lot of bluegill in here so all right guys gonna whip the frog back up into underneath this shade over here Ooh. I got a bunch of stained water. Gonna give the black and purple chatterbait a try. Alright 
guys. I'm gonna try a little Joe's fly over here. Just see if I can get anything to bite. Bit at it, just didn't quite get it. All right, got a little something. What did we get? All right, guys. Giant creek chub or shiner? I know exactly what I'm gonna do with this sucker. Look at the size of this thing. Golden shiner. All right, guys, we caught this nice big old shiner. So I have a bait pole with me. So what I'm going to do is hook this guy up to this nice little circle hook I got on here and toss him out and see what happens. Hopefully, maybe I'll be able to catch a second one, too. All right, I'm going to nail him right through the back up over here. Come on, dude, stop it. Sam, we will cast this guy right on out. Let's make sure. That... Okay, we're not all looped up up there. Take the big guy out that way. All right, so guys, we are gonna watch yourself. We're gonna take this sucker, cast him right on out there. All right. Set my drag a little loose. Set that sucker there. We'll check on it every few minutes. Hopefully, we'll catch the biggest damn fish in the lake. Ooh, something hit that real hard right away. Well, not real hard, you know. There we go, another one. All right, guys, I got a little bass this time. A little baby one. A little baby, baby bass. Here we go, guys. A little, little damn near fingerling bass. Tiny little guy. There he goes. Back on in. Oh, guys, feels good to shake the skunk off. Maybe we'll get something else, too. Shiner and a baby, baby bass so far. It's funny about these Joe's flies things, they catch almost everything. Bass, catching that bass must have scared everything out of here. I lied, here we go. Whoop, out of blue go. Oh, uh, looks like a little pumpkin seed maybe oh there he goes back in the water you guys saw him now i hope here we go something else guys something else bunch of little ones oh look at this four fish four species here's another little baby crazy little baby crappie oh boy I'm gonna have to go get some pliers for this guy. There's so many different species up underneath here. All right, guys, letting this little crappie go over here. I have to go get some pliers. Whoa, he uh, went flying. Did you guys see that? That was crazy. So I wonder if we could pull any more species out from up underneath here. So far, we're at four. I mean, they're all small. But I mean, oh, there we go, guys. A little bit bigger. There we go. A little bit not another species guys it's another bass but it's a bigger guy not huge but a bigger guy whoa that's weird let's show you guys this too as soon as i get him unhooked whoa this guy was crazy this guy's crazy He's freaking out guys all right so he's not a giant one nice little bass though jesus Ooh, that crappie doesn't look like he's doing the greatest. He was he was got hit pretty big, but check this check this out, guys. We got this uh, bass, and if you guys can see it, if you look at that eye, he looks like he's blind in his right eye. Can you guys see that? Look at that. It's got a giant calcium deposit on it. That's really cool. Never seen one quite that bad before. All right, well, see him, sweetie. 
Oh, wow. Yep. All right, let's get this guy back. Fortunately, it looks like the crappie that we got isn't doing the greatest. Hopefully, he'll do okay. All right. There goes that bass down in. So Lita said there's some sort of cool snail over here. Oh, wow. Would you guys look at this? Check it out. I don't know if you guys can really see exactly what's going on down here. But here we are. And check this out. It's a cool little snail hanging out. All right, I'm gonna put him back down in the water, right where he belongs. Their shells are really cool. All right, now he's back down in the water. Oh, there we go. This little baby bass. Oh, come here. Woo. The bass here are crazy, guys. They really are. <laughs> the bass here in this place are freaking crazy, guys. They're small. Little tiny, tiny guy. There you go. Bass number three. It's another little fingerling guy, but uh, two small, one big. Six fish, four species. Can't complain. Ooh, I would have paying attention. I had one on for a second. He got off though. I didn't set the hook. Keep getting little tiny hits. Oh, got him that time. Got one, guys. All right. Fish seven. Still four species. Another little. This looks like a pumpkin seed, I think. Not that great at uh, identifying bluegill. Hey guys, there he is. Nice little pumpkin seed. I think. Some sort of bluegill. Some fish. Alright, there he goes. He's back in. Oh, there we go guys. Another one. Whoa. This guy was going crazy. Probably because he's hooked really weird. Ow. There's another fish. Ooh, got him in the back of the eyeball. Alright, that's just a regular bluegill here, guys. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, that's fish eight. Still species. Well, technically species six, I guess, because this is bluegill, not a pumpkin seed. But, you know, we'll still call it species five. There we go. Um, got a Joe's fly caught in my finger. Alright, it's out. All right, guys, we are back in where we started originally uh, all this morning. I'm, I'm trying to catch a damn snakehead. This is a nice shallow, creaky water. Apparently this is uh, like what snakeheads love. And from the guy, from everything I've heard of, this place is a great place to catch snakehead. Keep freaking trying. Oh, damn it. I don't know if you guys saw that, but something just went after this freaking thing. Come on, come All on. All right, SOBs. We uh, spent hours looking for this elusive snakehead today. We started here at this Pierded Creek. We uh, went to two other locations, uh, I believe Haddon Lake and uh, Newton Lake, maybe? I I'm not 100% sure the name of the second one we were at, or the third one we were at, sorry. And then we came back to this Peter Creek. At the, the third place we went to, we were able to, what was it, seven or eight fish? I think we got a, one crappie, one shiner, three bluegill, and, and three bass. It's not too bad, but it, it wasn't that snakehead. That's what I came out here for, was a snakehead. I did, when we came back here, get one pretty fierce bite. I don't know if you guys were able to see it on the camera or not. I guess we'll see when I start editing and everything. But there was a pretty fierce bite. And when I was here this morning, there was a guy who says he comes here all the time, specifically for snakehead. And when I looked up this place, I saw a picture of that guy on Fishbrain with a snakehead. So 
he told me that they're in here really hard but right now they're they're pairing up and you know spawning so it's not the best time to catch them so maybe we'll come back out here in a couple weeks try it out again because uh these things look like they're gonna be fun to catch um the guy this morning also had a really good bite or maybe two i don't know if i got it on film but uh he had a couple bites it was nice but if you like this video you know where i take a travel away from home and try to catch something i've never caught before hit that like button Drop a comment and tell me if you've ever caught one of these elusive snakeheads and what body of water you're caught out of. Subscribe, you get to see all my new stuff coming out. Until next time, guys. Peace.